Hi, I'm Claire Pyres and I'm the host of GLAD All Access, GLAD's video series that features interviews with newsmakers, hit makers, and people making a difference. This week, I interviewed Leanne Rimes about her new CD and her support for the LGBT community. Take a look. I'm Claire Pyres. I'm here with Leanne Rimes. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Oh, well, thank you for talking to GLAD. Of course. Anytime. I love you guys. Oh, good. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your new album? Um, I have a brand new EP that's out uh, called One Christmas. Um, I got in the holiday spirit this year and uh, decided to do, um, this is like the first EP of, of uh, three EPs that'll end up as one collection uh, in 2016. So um, I love Christmas and selfishly I kind of wanted to stretch it out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, the last Christmas album I did was 10 years ago. So I didn't want to like just put one full album out and then it'd be another 10 years, if you know, uh, before I do one. So... I wanted uh, to hopefully put out some good Christmas music in the next three years every year, so it's fun. Wow, and you're going on tour, mm -hmm. and it's sponsored by Save the Children. Can you talk about what that organization is and what it's like to work with them? We're basically promoting their child sponsorship program where you can sponsor a child for a dollar a day, and um, your that money goes towards their education, towards nutrition, towards health care, um, and really giving children um, all over the world here in the United States and all over the world a chance for a future um, so when you think about it a dollar a day like you know I'm hoping people go oh I can do that we saw that you tweeted about Ty Herndon and about oh, yeah. Billy Gilman mm -hmm. and um, you've always been supportive of the LGBT community and I just want to know if you feel like now that they've come out do you think that the country music community is becoming more accepting of the LGBT community I certainly hope so I mean I hope that it I hope that we're moving forward and not back um, you know, Ty, I've known Ty since I was eight years old, actually. Um, I knew that this was all about to happen, and he actually texted me, like, right before it happened. So I'm so proud of him. And I'm so, I like, you know, I know how scary it was for him to have to do that, you know. And I think it's so powerful that he did it. And, look, Billy came out right after that, and um, he inspired someone. And I, that's what I was, I was like, look, Ty, look what you're doing. So I get really emotional when <laughs> talking about it. But there's the sweetest people. Billy's a sweetheart. And I'm just happy, like, you know, Ty, um, Ty waited for a very long time in his life to come out, and Billy actually has a, a chance at having a full life, you know, as, a, as an out really gay man, and I'm super proud of them both. So, yeah, I get, I'm getting really emotional <laughs> about it because, you know, people, people should be able to love who they love. It's as simple as that. And Billy had said something on Entertainment Tonight about how you were crying at McDonald's oh, telling him. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I was reading. Um, I was watching his little video. I had to. <laughs> I was on a road trip. I had to get off and go to the bathroom. To be honest, I had to go pee. So I got off. We found a McDonald's, and I'm like looking at it, you know, as I'm going in the bathroom, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like crying in the bathroom of McDonald's. I'm so proud of him. So, yeah. I did. I tweeted that. I'm like, you have me crying in the bathroom at McDonald's. <laughs> well, to one more question to piggyback on that. You yeah. tweeted about Spirit Day, which is GLAD's day to support anti-bullying for LGBT youth. Mm -hmm. And you've always been a supporter. Why do you think it's important for you to, especially you're both in the pop community and the country community right. and the music community as a whole, but why do you think it's important to support LGBT youth and LGBT people? Well, you know, I mean, as... As a performer, we have a voice. Um, a lot of kids listen. Um, you know, I've look. I've been bullied as a child, um, and I can somewhat relate. I just come from my heart when I support support the LGBT youth, like how that feels to be judged and and put down. So, um, from the deepest part of my heart, I truly, truly support them. And what are your goals for this year? Oh wow. Um, the end of this end of the year no I'm just, or 2015 yeah um the, yeah um 2015 gosh I'm going back in the studio and creating it's really kind of like my my go-to word right now is going in and creating I'm so excited to um see kind of what comes out um and that's that's the best part of my job is to basically create something from nothing um you know I go and go get to write music and play around in the studio so that's really what I'm doing the first part of the year and mm -hmm. I'll be touring off and on and we're just kind of planning my year right now, so there'll be new music for sure, for sure, which I'm very excited about. And, of course, I'll be recording the next Christmas EP. <laughs> Yay. It's Christmas all year long for me for the next three years. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to GLAD. Absolutely. Thank you.